Why has this Gomer got to try and die every day during my lunch? It's a little insensitive. Mistake. Man's 92 years old. He has full dementia. He doesn't even know we're here. He is inches from Carlo's rack, and he hasn't even flinched. Oh, that is so sweet. Yeah, it is. What about his subconscious? Eisenhower was a sissy. I think by the grace of God, we're going to be okay. Oh, and from now on, whenever I'm in the room, you're definitely not allowed to talk. What the hell are you doing? Did you actually just page me to find out how much Tylenol to give to Mrs. Lenzner? I was worried that it could exacerbate the patient's... It's regular strength Tylenol. Here's what you do. Get her to open her mouth, take a handful, and throw it at her. Whatever sticks, that's the correct dosage. But I... And under no circumstances are you to compromise our no-talking agreement. Dr. Kelso, he's always telling me, no, you gotta stay positive. I'm gonna go ahead and say this just as carefully as possible so I don't overstate it. Dr. Kelso is the most evil human being on the planet and may in fact be Satan himself. It's just that this isn't really what I expected, you know. Most of my patients are uh, older and sort of checked out mentally. Pumpkin, that's modern medicine advances that keep people alive who should have died a long time ago, back when they lost what made them people. Now, your job is to stay sane enough so that when someone does come in that you actually can help, you're not so brain dead that you can't function for the love of God. What? It's just, do you really think we should be talking about this for Her? She's dead. <laughs> Write this down, Nubby. If you push around a stiff, nobody will ask you to do anything. You've been like a father to me. Fair enough. You want some real advice? If they find out the nurses are doing your procedures for you, your ass will be kicked out of here so quick it'll make your head spin. And there it is. Have a terrific day. Not really dead. Dr. Cox, about Will. Not now. I have a 10 minute break and my soap is on. Hey, uh, Skeech. If you do, go ahead and change the channels. I swear I'll suture your hands together. Right, so with Will, I would... Oh, this woman is just fantastic. I mean, the breasts are probably fake, but by God, those tears are real. Time for a bold move. <laughs> I need to know how we're going to fix this thing with Will. Do you know what you've just done? You just lost all lapdog privileges. Excuse me? No more walkies, no more treats, no more following me around the hospital. <laughs> Watch your lapdog. Hey, you back there. What do we do with lapdogs who can't behave in the house? Make them stay outside? That's right. You now have five seconds to get out of this room. Otherwise, I'm going to start whacking you on the nose with this. <laughs> Don't laugh. This isn't a joke, Noby. Get out. But I was thinking it. Go! What do you want to watch there, Captain Courage? Days of our lives. And a boy. Now come here and give me a hug. It's okay, come here. Come here. Oh, get out of here. And take this piss water with you. It's embarrassing to have it here. I'll drink it. Hey, I'll take the beer. You'll beat it. I'm just a little lonely, you know? I guess because I haven't really been hanging out with Turk since he's been dating Carla. First of all, who's Turk? And don't answer. Look. If you have a medical question for me, I'm forced by hospital policy to answer you. However, if you ask me about a personal problem, I'm going to start doing this. Ow! You seem unhappy. I like that. Anyway, JD always tells me how much you've helped him out. So he obviously hasn't told you about my ear flicking policy, has he? Look. This whole groovy guidance counselor thing you people seem to have working is a total fantasy. I'm not that guy. You can go and ask anybody. Now, you've got to leave me alone or I'll punish you. I guess sweetheart is kind of innocuous. Okay. Here's what you're going to do. 
Go right down there and confront Kelso. Really? Oh, absolutely. Never mind that he is the chief of medicine for the entire hospital. He'll have a whole new level of respect for you. Honestly? Yes, you can't have sexist terms like that floating around here. You go get him. Ow! Dr. Cox. And I'm hoping for your sake there's another Dr. Cox sitting right behind me. I feel stupid, but sending me to Kelso like that, well, I'm not sure exactly what you were trying to teach me. The value, and this is important, of leaving me alone. I think we both know there's a little more to it than that. No, 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 there's not. Look, I want you to go ahead and spread the word, Missy. I've had enough. The next whiny intern that comes in here looking to me for a cookie and a hug, I swear to Aisha, I'm going to hurt them. And you, you neurotic one-woman freak show, take your blah blah to the blah blahologist. Because if you are so stupid as to confront the chief of medicine over some quasi-offensive endearment, then you've just got to go ahead and replace the captain of your brain ship because he's drunk at the wheel. You're right. I need to learn to pick my battles. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Yeah. What now, Dr. Barbie? Mrs. Guerrero is a 40-year-old lupus patient who presented with shortness of breath, so I started her on a heparin drip and ordered a VQ scan. I just wanted to run that by you. One, two, three. So should I continue it's with It's really important that you let me get to 10. Well, I just thought. Listen, Cookie, you've been here over a month. This is Medicine 101. I don't want every little thing run by me. I don't want to give you my two cents worth, but if you ever do want to know my opinion, rest assured, it will always be that you're an incredible pain and that every time I see your QP doll face, it just makes me want to pick you up and shake you until all the hours of my life that you've wasted fall out. Now laugh. What? Laugh so that she doesn't think I'm yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how fun was that? So she doesn't want dialysis? Yeah, what is that? Well, if she declines dialysis, then there is no ethical dilemma. But what about our duty as doctors to do everything in our power to help? <laughs> what about our duty as doctors? Look, this has nothing to do with the patient. It's all about you. You are afraid of death, and you can't be. You're in medicine. You gotta accept the fact that everything we do here, everything, is a stall. We're just trying to keep the game going. That's it. But ultimately, it always ends up the same way. I win. Where? I don't see. Here, diagonally. Pretty sneaky, death. I helped. So you're the one who told Kelso that Mr. Martinez was dead? That's a terrific word. Uh, looks like word gets around. What in the name of are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. Were you thinking? Well, I knew here, but I'm relatively certain that invasive vascular procedures have a very low success rate on dead people. That tips procedure was for Mrs. Blit down in 103. You see, she doesn't have insurance. Mr. Martinez, on the other hand, had great insurance. Should I talk slower or go get a nurse who speaks fluent moron? You don't have to be like, mean about it. Well, geez, newbie, just what in the hell do you want from me, huh? know if they taught you this in the land of fairies and puppy dog tales where you obviously, if not grew up, then at least spent most of your summers. But you're in the real world now. Okay? Mm Don't say it. I still think I was right. Once every 6.3 seconds, a man says something stupid that another man hears and punishes him for. Luckily, this wasn't... That's it! Oh, no. You know what this is? This is me washing my hands of you. I will not be in the same room with you again, starting now. Look at him pretending like yesterday never happened. Well, if he thinks I'm gonna forgive him without so much as- Anyway, newbie, the reason I was all bent out of shape yesterday- I accept. Don't interrupt me. Come here. Pull that curtain. And Mrs. Blit over there? 
needs the TIPS procedure, no insurance. Yeah, well, she can now look forward to a lifetime of encephalopathy and jaundice thanks to bottom line Bob. Is he really that bad? I hate Robert Kelso. I hate his family. I hate his friends. I hate the guy that cleans his vaguely racist little lawn jockey. In fact, I hate anybody who ever even associates with him. Is that clear? Totally. Cox! Run, Junior. Daddy's home. Did you actually think I wouldn't find out what you did? What did I you do? insolent. I'm insolent? Arrogant. It, I know it sounds melodramatic, but in my mind, as I watched the two of them, they weren't battling for patience or insurance. They were battling for my soul. Bottom line, she needs the tip you procedure with insurance or without I can taste it. It's an old story, really. Good versus bad, right versus wrong, the dark side versus the light. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Easy, Chewie. this institution. I hope you learn from this. You're suspended. Effective immediately. Dr. Cox, I've been thinking about your predicament, and I think I have a solution. Cruise ships. Right. Think about it. Everyone will call you Doc. You'll visit exotic ports. Heck, maybe you'll even get to meet Charles. Listen, you should go ahead and enjoy this while you can, Bobby. Because if your evil genie actually does grant your wish and I disappear, the only person you'll have left to contend with around here will be yourself. And when you really get to know that person, oh dear God, you'll scream so loud that Satan will want to rip up the contract you signed at birth just so he can get some sleep. Look at you with your stiff upper lip. I think I'm going to miss that the most. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. What are you looking at? Oh, no, I just, I, I like your shirt. What, what, what kind of shirt is that? It's a white t-shirt. I knew it! <laughs> Cuts. Okay, Linus, you're way too excited. I want you to get your blankie, go in a corner, and take a time out. Non-displaced femoral fracture. Carla's mom's gonna be fine. Okay, what? Your ex-wife. She's the answer. Uh, things that ruined my life. Things that took half my money. Things with sharp edges. Come on, she's on the board. Deep down, I'm sure she's a reasonable person. Not that I know her that well, or at all, or have ever been alone with her, but I'm sure if you just... No. Ask? I'm going to go ahead and do this just as slowly as possible so you don't misunderstand. No. I wonder if he wants me to ask her. No. Fine. I'll ask her. That's a no. Nobody hurts Carla and gets away with it. Who's Carla? I was talking to myself. Don't eavesdrop. If this kid doesn't leave, I'm going to kill him. Now, if you leave, I'll know you were eavesdropping. I'll just go ahead and kill you anyway. Stay. Good girl. Oh. What are you worried about with the whole hero thing? Whoever evaluates you is going to give you a gold star. Listen, Supergirl. I'm going to break you down into so many little pieces that my grandmother, who can do a thousand-piece puzzle of clear blue sky in less than an hour, will never be able to finish putting you back together again, even if she does go back in time to when her vision was perfect. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I have finished my evaluation. Oh, great. I thought it was going to take a little longer, so the marching band won't be here until this evening. Enjoy. I think you'll find it's a good read. Hey, Nubi, this thing actually does matter, so tell me, were you completely honest with yourself? Yeah. <whistles> Say it right into the camera there, hotshot. Now, you can have this thing back anytime you want. You're gonna have to bark like a dog, though. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna bark like it. It's your call. Woof. Good boy. <laughs>